Welcome to Food Friday, brought to you by U.S. Food Chef Store. And I told you guys, we're food trucking it up on this Friday. And right now, I have with me Chef Jean-Louis. Bonjour. He is Belgian. And we're going to be cooking up some Belgian waffles. Right? Yes, yes, yes. We have the Liège version of the waffle. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a sandwich waffle, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to top, cut the top off the waffle. I really heat it on my griddle here, and we're going to do a oofty waffle. Okay. Oofty means wow okay. in, in Belgium. And uh, what it is, it's a waffle with some uh, goat cheese, some uh, crispy lettuce, and duck and chicken confit. Confit means that the chicken and the duck have been cooked in their own juice for a long time. And it's kind of, uh, you know, it, we, we pulled it from the from the bone mm -hmm. and the darker meat actually is going to be the duck and the lighter of course would be the chicken so we have a combination here on the stove and I'm going to put you to work okay. because we don't have a lot of time so mm -hmm. take this boat and you get this uh, uh, paper here mm -hmm. the foil shiny side up shiny side up yes, okay, ma'am. Okay. there you go and then put it right and nice in the bottom and we're going to actually build a sandwich uh, right now okay. so this is warm mm -hmm. and nice so I'm, I'm taking it here and I have some fresh goat cheese here that I'm going to spread on the waffle all right now we can put it in the boat in the boat in the boat yes in the oofty boat. <laughs> boat yes and then I have some crispy uh, green lettuce here this is pretty interesting. People may think just sweetness when they yes. think about waffles, but this is savory. I know. That's what makes us uh, different. You know, people, we do have also the sweet version of it, but uh, this is what really makes us uh, stand up. Okay. So now we've got the uh, mixture of the we'll duck and the chicken. I'm going to try not to burn you. It's okay. It's okay. Oofty, right? Oofty. It says oofty, it, it can mean oh my goodness, it can mean wow, so we're just going to say it all morning long, right? Yeah, that's right. So we have this ready. Now the sweet touch to it would be a onion jam. So this is a homemade, homemade onion jam, mm -hmm. chopped onions, brown sugar, vinegar, salt, pepper, uh, and it's it makes the really, really nice uh, sweet uh, finish to our sandwich. Then I will take the top back here, put it on, back on, and then guess what? We get a little palmetto. Aww. Look at that. Shout this is the South garnish. Carolina, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so yummy. Is it too hot to eat? It is not easy to eat. Go ahead, please. Is that a challenge? We only have a few seconds, <laughs> but I'm up for it. It's hot. Be careful. <laughs> Mm. Oofy. It's not good. Oofy. It's good, That's isn't it? Oofy, you guys. <laughs> mm. So, like we said, right. we're on the Belgian food truck right now. It's called Oofy. It means wow. It means amazing. It means great. But we're gonna have more Food Friday in a, another 30 minutes. But we're gonna have more Good Day Columbia after the break. Hey guys, welcome back to Food Friday, brought to you by U.S. Food Chef Store. We're now. I got it right. Okay, so we're going to be making margarita pizza, and this is Rick. He's going to help me out, and you show me the ingredients that you use and yeah. how to make it well, up. We got tomatoes. Go ahead and put them on. Okay. We got two ounces of uh, sauce in there. Those are San Marzano tomatoes, which are grown on the backside of Mount Vesuvius. A little more. Spread it out more. No, no. Yeah. Spread it out more. More. Okay. Okay. There you go. Uh-huh. Now get the mozzarella cheese. Just grab a clump of it. Like yeah, clump of it and tear it and just... Don't be afraid. Just, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just get in there. More. Spread it out more. Out. Spread it out. Yeah. Got it. And then. Yeah, I'm really bad at that's this. That's all right. You're learning. <laughs> now get the garlic. Always put garlic on your pizzas. That's what I tasted earlier. Always. Yeah. There you go. Pretty heavy with them. Yep. That's it right there. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> no, that's, that's blood pepper. Get the uh, dried basil. Mm -hmm. I use dried basil because... Uh, the uh, fresh basil will go bad. Yeah, that's good. That's plenty right there. So uh -huh. basically said my breath is going to stink because I use too much garlic. It's okay though, and then right? You, uh, put it right here. You can go ahead if you want. Put it on there? All the way? Yeah. Hold on one second. Take it to the middle side. Makes it easier for you. Okay, go ahead. Put it in there. Slip it in there. There you go. 
I see it happening sometimes, so I'm pretty okay with that. We got it. Put it up here. This is called a peel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you said that you par bake your uh, dough. Par bake, yeah. yeah. What does that mean? Well, a par bake is you you, you partial cook, part partial cook, partial bake, mm -hmm. because it saves time for me. It's it's really time consuming making the dough, making the dough balls, and then rounding the the the, uh, the pizza, yeah, rounding it into a pizza. Okay. Uh, the Neapolitan pizza is 12 inches diameter mm -hmm. because I'm in here and I do festivals and parties, whatever. I make them eight inches. Nobody wants to walk around with a 12 inch box, you know. So it's perfect for for people that uh, in parties and all. But in the restaurant, it would be 12 inches. And in restaurants, it probably takes a longer amount of time. So if someone's waiting at your food truck, about how long will it take to make the pizza? 90 seconds. That's it. Yeah. Once the oven's up to 900 degrees, yeah. And then I'll have a little help here, you know, uh, some young kid helping me out, you know. Uh, while I'm making the pizzas, they put in the orders and... Mm -hmm. and now, Tre Bambini, it's an Antica pizzeria. pizzeria. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a tongue twister, y'all. It's harder than what it sounds like. What does that mean? Tre Bambini means three kids, okay? I have my son, Noah. Uh, my first restaurant, I named it after him. And then uh, my... Uh, partner uh, in this business, uh, she's got two kids, mm -hmm. so we just came up with Tere Bambini, Antica Pizzeria. Yeah. Yummy, and this is what it will look like when it comes out of the oven, correct? That's how it looks like. Okay, let's break into Beautiful it. Beautiful margarita pizza. Well, let me cut it for you. Oh. You gotta cut it for you. Okay. Excuse me? Here now, why cut. is it called margarita? Margarita is uh, Italy's most famous pizza. It was named after Queen Margarita. Okay. Um, in the 1800s, she was uh, married, but very she used, to, she used to knock on uh, Raffaello Esposito's restaurant three in the morning, you know, mm -hmm. still partying and w was hungry. And he opened the door for her and, and uh, he invented the pizza. Named that the color of the flag, the Italian flag. Do people drink margaritas with the margaritas? No, 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 no. That's Mexican. This is Italian. <laughs> Just making sure. So you see the color of the flag, red, white, and green. Right okay. there, you know. Mm. Look at that, y'all. All the yummy cheese. And this is how it looks when it comes fresh out of the oven. Here it does. So let me show you all that par bake, what he was talking about earlier. This is what he means by it's pre-made already, and it's pretty pretty soft. Yeah. Explain us what you were saying, how it's the perfect consistency, what you look for in the pizza. It's okay that it's burnt around the edges, correct? Oh, the, oh, the peaches, the burnt, uh, burnt and crispy around the edges, mm -hmm. soft and moist in the middle. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the way a true uh, Neapolitan pizza is. You should eat it with fork and knife. Right. It's not American. Clearly I made a mistake, right? It's not American. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here comes one. Uh, uh, one's coming out right now. I'll let you cut it how it's supposed to be. Cut it again. You always put garlic in there, and at the end, when you after you've cut it, mm -hmm. We're going to add, grab me that olive oil right there. Yep, always add olive oil. Always. It enhances the flavor of the pizza. And there you go. Yep. That's the Margarita pizza. Margarita. We're going to have more Good Day Columbia after the break. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Food Friday, brought to you by U.S. Food Chef Store. We're here with Jean-Louis on the Oofty Food Truck. It's been so much fun and so sweet, right? We're yes, ma'am. About yep. to get even sweeter. Yes, it's going to be sweeter. So after the savory sandwich option, option that we saw this morning, mm -hmm. we're going to do a sweet version of it. Okay. So uh, the, what makes the, the waffle sweet is that pearl sugar. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a sugar coming from Belgium, and it's a, a sugar made from beets, not from cane. Mm -hmm. So that sugar doesn't melt as fast as the uh, cane sugar. Mm -hmm. So it's inside the dough and when we bake the, when we make the waffle, it's kind of caramelized the outside of the waffle a little bit and then also it creates little sweet sucre mm -hmm. pockets into the waffle. Okay, Suke. sugary sweet. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to do a straw waffle. Mm -hmm. This is the sweet version of our waffle with fresh strawberries mm -hmm. and whipping cream. Okay. All right. So what we'll do, we will put a little sugar here on the strawberry. How do you say strawberries? 
fraise. Fraise. Yes. Oh, kind That's of like in, in Spanish, it's fresca. You know, by the end of the day, you speak fruit. Oh, huh? yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's put a little bit of uh, that sweet strawberries in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then we will take our whipped cream and make it nice and pretty. I see why I couldn't do this. A little too skilled. All right. Here. This one's finest. really pretty. There you go, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then we put a little sugar, powdered sugar. Now, if you want really the, the king of the king, <laughs> you got you to gotta use the little Nutella. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use a little Nutella for a nice and sweet chocolate, chocolate finish. Chocolate. Chocolate, Sticky. yes. And then I'm sure when you taste it, you'll go like, oofty, this is so good. What's a word better than oofty? I like, know. Because you got to say oofty infinity or something like that when it's really good. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm you know you back it. at the station, they've been joking the whole morning, Destiny, you've been stuffing your face the whole morning. When it's good food like this, <laughs> y'all would be eating it too, so I don't want to hear any complaints. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> that deserves a dance. That was really cool, mm, y'all. Now, that, that kind of reminds you a little bit of a strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. With the, you know, doughy and uh, kind of brioche, mm -hmm. a sweet waffle, and a mixture of the, 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 the Thank you so much, John. louis You're very welcome. We're going to have more Food Friday in the next 30 minutes for more Good Day Columbia right after the break. Oof day. Hey guys, welcome back to Food Friday, brought to you by U.S. Food Chef Store. We are here at Trey Bombini Antica Picaria. I think I'm getting it right. I'm learning two different languages all morning long, but we just made the margarita pizza. That was just with the mozzarella cheese and the regular marinara sauce and basil and olive oil. It was really yummy, but now what are we going to be cooking up? We're going to be doing the pizza noa and the American pepperoni. Okay. So you're going to show me how to make this and I'm sure. going yeah, to go try ahead. it out. Add sauce, both. This came from Mount Vesuvius. The tomatoes come from, they're grown on the back side of Mount Vesuvius. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vesuvius. Best tomatoes in the world for making sauce. Okay. Do I need more? All right, you got it, you got it. Now get the cheese, yep, and start tearing it and just putting lumps of it on there. He said don't be scared, that's what he said the last time. Oh, uh, don't be frugal. Don't be frugal. <laughs> Say cheese in Italian. Formaggi. 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 Yeah. Formaggi. In Spanish, it's queso. No queso. But there more you go. Of it. Keep more. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's good. Yeah. Now the next one. If you guys see, it's just like a big chunk of Start it. Start tearing it apart. Mm -hmm. Now, this one, just add the pepperoni on that one. This? Yeah. Okay. Get some pepperoni there, just add it on now, there. Now, what were you telling me about real pepperoni in, uh, in, in Italy? Italy, pepperoni is not what we, as Americans, consider pepperoni. Mm -hmm. This is American pepperoni. Pepperoni in Italy is bell peppers and banana peppers, okay? Mm -hmm. in Italy, if I were in my restaurant, I, I would use the uh, salami. I use a calabresi salami mm -hmm. from the calabresi region of Italy. But uh, you can add the rest of this here, okay. too. What would you say the main difference between the salami and the salami? Salami, uh, it's made of the Calabrese region. No preservatives, no additives. American pepperoni has tons of preservatives and additives. But since I'm in a trailer, people want, mm -hmm. you know, Americans want this. I, I give it to them, you know, so. Uh, but I would never do that, serve that in the restaurant. Okay. In, in, yeah. Just the salami. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. I did the peel. Uh, you forgot one thing. Call it. Okay. There you go. We only have a few that's more good. seconds. That's so good. I'll go now. No, that's after. Now get the uh, uh, bacon first. A chunk of it. Bacon first, yeah. 
good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now the blueberries. Okay. Yep, put that on there. Okay. Get your hand all stained. Okay. Okay. Did you add uh, garlic? Did now. There you go. Okay, we put that back in. We did. There we are. This is what it looks like when it's done. Now, the sweet and savory of the bacon and the blueberries, and then you have the regular, regular pepperoni. pepperoni. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Rick. Now, we're going to have more Good Day Columbia after break, more Food Friday in the next 30 minutes. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Food Friday, brought to you by U.S. Food Chef Store. We're back on the Oofty Food Truck with the Belgian waffles. Now, all morning long, we've been cooking up very delicious treats, and Thank we're just you. going to do a little bit of a recap with the chef Jean-Louis. Sure, so here we have the savory version of the of uh, our waffles, which is the oofty waffle. Mm -hmm. It's uh, goat cheese, lettuce, uh, duck and chicken confit, topped with a homemade uh, onion jam and garnished with a little palmetto. So this is the, uh, the savory option. And then we have the sweet option that we will uh, we, we did also. It's the straw waffle, and it's a sweet waffle with pearl sugar. Wow, you're doing a good job. Yeah. yeah now oofty. you need to turn oofty. Turn the boat. There you go. Oofty <laughs> means wow, amazing. Destiny's the bomb. Does right. that, you know what that means? That's it. Yes. <laughs> now so, how I'm doing this. Uh, one year. It's going to be one year, November 1st. So we're going to our first anniversary mm -hmm. uh, in a few weeks, actually. Mm -hmm. so you and your wife, Yvette? Yes, Yvette is a big, big part of the, of the equation, of course. Uh, you know, I couldn't make it without her. She mm -hmm. is, uh, she is uh, baking all the waffles, making all the dough. <laughs> putting everything away, <laughs> so <laughs> she you is. Better a, hop out and get your shout awesome. out. She's awesome. We, we do a really, we are a really good team actually. We like to work together. Mm -hmm. Now the Nutella. Now this is the Nutella. Now, there you go. You that's guys the. We're art. talking about Liège. Yes, Liège. You're from. You are from Belgium. Yes, we are the real deal. The we real are deal. from uh, Belgium, Liège. That's our hometown. Mm -hmm. And I graduated from the cooking school in Liège in 1977. And we had restaurants all our life, mostly in uh, Illinois. And we moved to the south here about a year ago when we opened our food trucks. And where, where can people find you? Do you show up to... The farm? people can follow us on uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. We are on Twitter, Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I try to post uh, the locations that we are at. And the locations are posted on the, fa on the web page, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, we do a lot of caterings, we do a lot of birthday parties, we do, we can hire, people can hire the Belgian Waffle Truck for private events. Mm -hmm. We just pull up in the uh, uh, driveway, we bring everything with us, we don't even has, you know, to have to go in the house, we don't have to mess with anything in the house. We serve everybody and take off. So people really like that. So when you come up, we can expect the smiling faces yes. for you to say oofty all oofty. the time. I'm going to say that probably for the rest of my life now because I know it. That's First great. time trying a Belgian waffle this morning, and it was really good. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. But we're actually going to have more Food Friday. We're going to wrap up things with the pizza uh, food truck in 30 minutes. But we're going to have more Good Day Columbia after the break. Antica Pizzeria. Antica Pizzeria with Rick and all morning long we've been baking up some nice pizzas and we're going to do a full recap of everything. Okay. All the ingredients that was it also. What was this pizza again? That's a margarita. What was in it? That's uh, tomato sauce, San Marzano tomatoes with a fresh mozzarella and basil. I use dry basil. And that's the Pizza Noah, my number one seller, named after my son. <laughs> that is uh, tomato sauce with mozzarella cheese and bacon and blueberries. I'd helped with that one in the last segment, <laughs> and I have the ev we have the evidence. If you don't have any stains, you, you don't really mean much if you can't make it right. <laughs> so this one right and here. And that's the pepperoni pizza. Okay, just the pepperoni. And explain again the real pepperoni in, in Italy. Well, uh, uh, pepperoni in Italian is uh, 
uh, bell peppers and banana peppers, okay? But since I'm on the trailer, I use the American pepperoni. In Italy or in the restaurant, we use salami, calabresi salami from the calabresi region of Italy. And how long have you been doing this food truck thing? Well, I just started about six months ago. But I've had restaurants before, you know, I've been doing it a long time, but six months doing this, it takes time to get used to it, you know, but it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it, you know. How many people does it take to run it? Like your typical day when you know you're going to be doing a catering or going to Soda City or something, how long does it take for you to prep and break that down? It, I usually do it by, by myself because it's really hard to find people to hire. You know, these kids this day and age don't want to work, you know. So, uh, you know, I've hired a few people, but they walk away after a while, you know. Uh, so it's all me, you know. It takes, it's a lot of uh, time consumption, yeah. So if you could give an estimate maybe of the, the amount of time it takes to prep, like today. Oh, today to prep? Oh, uh, after everything's ready to go, uh, maybe 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes to get ready. No, it takes about 45 minutes to get the oven hot, 900 degrees, and uh, that's the longest time right there. I, but while it's getting hot, I'm prepping the other stuff. You know? Do you have to wait for it to cool back down before you start driving the truck again? Like to no, no, I just cover it up and go. Oh. It's like a fireplace. Hey, yeah. it looks like one, but it's not. Yeah, no, <laughs> but it's like a fireplace, yeah. Okay, and then you mentioned something about the next couple weeks. What's going on? Here? I'm leaving tomorrow for Sweden to go see my son, so I'm not available for uh, until I get back, which will be October the 6th. After that, I'm very available. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it looks like we have enough to take back to the station to last everybody in Columbia if they wanted some, right? Yep. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, have the margarita, we have the blueberries, and the bacon, and this one was named after your son. Noah. The Noah. Mm -hmm. And then the pepperoni. traditional, the pepperoni. So those are all the dishes that we cooked up with Rick. Uh, that was most of the Food Friday. We remember we were on the Belgian waffle food truck uh, making up all those sweet treats. And then we had a savory treat. And then we had the pasta, uh, the pizza. So we had lots of different uh, variety. Not pasta, right? Not what pasta. am I doing? It's been a long morning, right? <laughs> but, of course, we're going to have more Food Friday next week. But this is the last of the segment. We're going to finish up Good Day Columbia in the next 30 minutes.